Welcome back. Thousands of bakers around the world are heating up their ovens and putting on their aprons as part of a grassroots efforts to fight racial injustice. Nancy Chan introduces us to the virtual bake sale called Bakers Against Racism. Houston pastry chef Victoria Dearman is preparing what she calls carrot cake fried pie. It'll be part of a goodie box she's offering up in an online bake sale. Baking for a cause has always been really popular because who doesn't love a baked good? Dearman and her business partner joined the online collaborative Bakers Against Racism alongside thousands of bakers from more than 200 cities on five continents. They've come together on social media, posting mouth-watering and timely baked goods with the hashtag Bakers Against Racism. Bakers are asked to sell 150 items with proceeds donated to local organizations that support black causes. Washington, D.C. chef Rob Ruba is a co-founder. We didn't set it up to have a specific organization that you must donate to. We wanted people that are participating to research, see in their community what actual organizations need funds, what's going to support their community local. Professional chefs and bakeries like Milk Bar here in New York are heating up their ovens as part of the sale, but it also includes amateur bakers whipping up something sweet in their home kitchens. Kathy Straws has been working around the clock in Los Gatos, California. The cookbook author and food blogger is making her famous chocolate chip cookies. It's been a, a challenging time lately, and I loved that they were looking to do something really positive. Straws has raised nearly $3,500 for the organization Black Girls Code and says her cookies sold out in nine hours. She says even though the bake sale ends Saturday, she hopes the sentiment behind it will continue to grow. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York. Nothing like fresh baked cookies.